January the 6th, 2015. Our mother passed away. And uh, I know that those of you out there who don't have mom around, you know what I'm talking about. Amen. Uh, we sang at our home one service, and this is the song yep. that we sang. And, I was uh, there. It was written by Walter Jr. some years ago. And we like it. We hope you like it. Listen to the message of the song. It simply says, I'll be satisfied. Listen.
children today. Uh -huh. It's unfortunate because I, you know, I look at my nephews and such, and they, you know, every time I see them, they're always on the, you know, the games, you know, and, uh, they want the headphones, you can actually communicate with other folk, and all that kind of stuff. And I tell myself, wow, when I was in age, I was outside running, playing at the park, and, you know, football, kickball, you know, all these fun things that we did, and it seems that those things are a little past. But I'm glad, and I'm going to dedicate this song, even though he's not here today, Mr. Jim Pugh loved this song, and I told him, with everything that his family is going through right now, that prayer is a wonderful thing. Yes, Lord. And I'm home on Sunday mornings, it will be my mother and my father, my sister and my three brothers. All of us will be in the living room gathered together. I want y'all to bring that down a little bit, please. I want you to bring that music down just a little bit. And I want you to really listen to the words of the song we sing. It goes like this. Don't forget the faith. You know she When we when we in the Lord, I remember on Sunday morning my daddy would kick it off. He would say, Don't forget. And I'm glad because when I grew up, I wound up having a family. And I put them in my three daughters. I told them, when life seems to get the best of you, remember to get down on your knees and talk to the Lord about it. One thing I like about prayer, you can talk to Him, and He won't tell them to tell your goodness. Hallelujah. My God. Let me tell you this verse right here. Listen, my daddy would say this to us. He would say, Prayer will keep your home together. Yes, it will. I know prayer will bring a wandering child back home. Oh, yes, it will. I know prayer will make you love one more.
if you want to get up and have a good time, come on down here to the front with me. Now look here, I know there's somebody saying, I wouldn't mind getting up, you know, but if I get up, my friends might talk about me. Let me tell you, come on. <laughs> I want you to know something about your friends. They're going to talk about you anyway. Yes, sir. So why don't you give them something good to talk about? <laughs> Can I get some people? Come on down into the front with me. All right, come on. Oh, look at my sister. I see you. Come on, let's go. This young lady here, she fractured her arm skateboarding. That's why I never skateboarded. But that's all right. I'm glad you're here. Alright, now listen. Can I get some more people to come on down here to the front? Come on now. I need some, I need some people who want to have a good time. Come on now. If you want to have a good time, come on down here. I tell you what. This is a song that was written by a dear friend of ours, Reverend Chuck Simone, formerly of the True Tone Gospel Center of San Francisco. He said when he wrote this song, he was He said he was at the club doing his thing, but all of a sudden, he didn't feel right. He said the music didn't sound the same. The drinks didn't taste the same. And all of a sudden, they could hear the sound. And he said, I hear sound of He said, I can hear sound of many walks he said, it must be the sound of a holy thing. I think I can see him figure it looks like the son of man. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go ahead and do that thing, man.